Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a quick get ready with me. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. So this is not gonna be like super product specific. Um, it's literally just me getting ready and wanting to chat with you guys. So as you can see, your girl got a braids in. I tried to do the little fluffy baby hairs thing, hoping I ain't causing no heat damage because that's what it's giving. And I am moisturizing my face with the Holy Hydration Hydro Gel Moisturizer from e.l.f. And I just want to know, I know I ask y'all this all the time and I haven't been as good as, um, as good as I used to be responding to my comments. <laughs> But now that I'm finished with all the things that I kind of told you guys that I was dealing with, like, you know, moving, um, finishing up contracts, all those things. Now that I'm like free and on a free site, I want you guys to comment it under this video so I could just come to this video for um, some more ideas for what you guys want to see. I do want to do more beginner videos. Um, I just need to know specifics on what you guys are missing because i know the last kind of beginner video was how to pretty much how to blend or get like a flawless face i've done the brow tutorial i've done lashes and i have another lash video coming so like what do you guys want to see specifically i'm thinking maybe um concealer like something about concealer maybe something about contour like y'all let me know in the comments i am a chatty patty so i'm gonna try not to over talk um i just put on my super goop unseen sunscreen because i will be taking pictures today of someone else and i will be outside i did finally tidy up my brows yesterday because i hadn't done my brows in a long periodically time this is the oma beauty baby hair brow pencil i need to clean my brushes so bad so bad like that need to be my next video but i really don't be doing anything special to clean them i literally just like clean them with dawn <laughs> so i'm cleaning up my brows with the milani concealer there's actually um my friend amber she put me on to um some skincare at sephora some high-end skincare and I want to go purchase a lot of the items in which she had um, and then share with you guys like my thoughts because I love a good skincare routine um, I can do an updated skincare routine for you guys but it really is very similar to the last one that I did I think I might have did it on my Instagram I'm not 100% sure but it's very similar. Like I haven't changed up any of my, the products that I use. Okay, so our brows are clean underneath. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be outside for, so my foundation of choice, which you guys have been asking me like, which which one, which one sis? Is, are we going with Fenty Beauty or Rare Beauty? Are we going with Fenty Beauty or Rare Beauty? And honestly and truly, if I had to decide myself, if y'all put me in a predicament, if y'all put me in a predicament, these three, these three no doubt would be considered a go-to for me. Sephora Best Skin Ever is giving coverage, your skin with coverage, okay? It's giving more of a foundation for sure. Um, it's just a natural finish foundation. Then down to these bad boys, because I know you girls love to tussle. Um, I love both brands. Let me put that out there first. I love both brands. I think they both um, reach, organically reach people just like well. They do it well. Okay, Fenty Beauty, they do their thing well. Rare Beauty also do their thing well. I think people don't sleep. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, the battle of the skin tint, tinted moisturizers. For me, 
Fenty Skins Ease Drop Skin Tint is more of a sheer but buildable um, skin tint. Like it, it blurs, but it's giving skin. Um, rare beauty. Oh, should I do a wear test? Ah, I can do a wear test, y'all. I just thought about it. Yeah, we'll do a wear test because why not? So we'll do we'll do ease drop on the left side and we'll do rare beauty on the right side. Um, what I was gonna say about rare beauty is rare beauty is giving a little bit more coverage than sheer, I would say like medium coverage. Um but it's still lightweight. So if I put these three in a liner, if I put these braids in my head, um, this is the level of thickness. So this is like thick, thick, this like slim, thick, and this like slim. So it depends, like it literally, they all are products I would recommend, but it just depends on like what kind of coverage you want and how heavy on the face you want it. So if you like go into the pool, and like you really trying to look like I woke up like this, boom, eavesdrops your girl. I shouldn't have smacked my mouth, that was real. Get to her. Um, then if you going like out, you know, a day you walk in the strip or like you know, you go into the stores or whatever, but you're gonna be in the sun a little bit, or you got a little picnic date, you got a little picnic date, rare beauty. That's what I'm going for because I want a little bit more glam, but she don't got to be scared about the water because we're not going in the water. You know what I'm saying? And then best skin ever is like day date, brunchy, or a night date, a date night, date night. Jeez, <laughs> you can tell how I go on dates. Date night, that's what she's giving, okay? So the battle of the tents, this isn't a tent, but the battle of all of those things, boom. We about to do it. So let me do the same thing on both sides like I normally do. So I'm gonna use that Milani under my, I really need to color correct just a little bit cause your girl got little bags up under there. I don't like that. Okay, so Milani, I'm gonna use this for under the eye. Y'all, this is my first Saturday where like, I got stuff to do, but I don't really got stuff to do. I got stuff to do by choice. Let me say that. The pollen got any of y'all sniffing? So I got my concealer down. Um, and I'm going to do like I normally do. I usually will clean up um, above my brows. So I'm going to take some of the eavesdrop on my, my left, your right. And I'm going to use this to carve out the top of this brow. And then I'm going to also put a little bit on this side of my forehead. Because I usually put my foundation on that side this is actually 18. i have 17 as well because 17 is like closer to my shade and then i'm gonna take some of the rare beauty one on this side as you can tell the rare beauty one is a little bit darker i could definitely try a different shade in the rare beauty one this one works but definitely more so my summer shade so that's rare beauty side and we're also going to put a little dabble up here for the forehead now the next thing i'll be doing is putting it down here oh, a little dribble drop on this side and i pretty much do it from just that area and then flip into the other side of the brush where I had my Fenty skin tint. Then I had this over here. And you can already see like this side is like a lighter coverage situation. Which is cool. I don't mind it. So we got Fenty on this side. We got Rare on this side. As you can see, both of these colors are different. This one's darker, this one's lighter. This one matches my forehead better. This one matches my jawline better. That just kind of gives you an idea of the different tones in my face. Um, so like my overall skin tone is still a little bit light, but the perimeter of my face is still a little bit dark. So it's 
it's just giving indecisive between seasons <laughs> um for bronzer oh i should bust out my one moment i should bust out my zombia Javius play stick because i haven't worn this in a minute and we're just gonna yeah yeah because we haven't we haven't let her light shine in a minute okay so that's our bronzer that's on already and y'all know typically i like to blend out my bronzer first so we're gonna go ahead and do that pull back the baby hair so you don't get your um so you don't get all of that in your hair all that makeup in your hair but still make sure you kind of go back to the hairline i definitely would consider this more so bronzing than contouring because it's gonna warm up the face like i i look tan right now versus um contouring and straight like added shadows in my opinion and if you guys want me to do like a bronze versus contour video that's definitely a great idea to drop in the comments because i do feel like even me specifically when bronzing first became a thing i was like yo like what's what's the difference we out here contouring now you're telling me i need to bronze what's good sweetie like what's tea so yeah Okay, you see the nose snatch. Stop playing with her. I'm too excited to be filming in my ghetto. I come out. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we got that. We're gonna go ahead and blend our foundation. And I want to use a similar style brush, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna blend out the eavesdrop on this side. And another thing with each drop, I feel like you can just like, you can wipe like this and it, and it blends in. Remind, reminding you that you can blend this out with your fingers. So I think that's why it's such an easy blend where you can kind of just like wipe it on your face. Looks very natural. very natural less coverage i do have some marks kind of sticking out but again just natural glowy rare beauty side like i said this one is slim thick it's slightly thicker than the skin tint so i feel like that's that in itself gives it more coverage and also obviously this side of my face is still a little bit darker than this side, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Now I'm gonna blend out my concealer. I'm gonna drag a little bit of that concealer just down here so I don't be looking too, too faced in with two different colors. Too crazy. That lighten this side up a little bit. This side is already lighter. We come into form again. This side, beautiful. This side, also beautiful. All right, so we're gonna blend out under the eye. I haven't been blending out with sponges lately, but that's also because I haven't washed my brushes and sponges. <laughs> I'm on a time crunch. We come and took one. Concealer is blended out, and I'm just going back in with the brush I used to blend out the moisturizer. <laughs> And the skin tint to make sure everything all the edges are blended well and then from there we gonna set both sides the same so lately I've been doing a double doozy of powder setting with my Laura Mercier up under the eye first I, Rare Beauty does have a setting powder and I've tried it, but I, I had the shade was too dark, so I need to try a lighter one. So setting all the areas with my Laura Mercier. Go ahead and set the lids, because we gonna put a little bronzer on there. And let's hit them with a little bit of the Fenty Honey, which just adds a little bit more brightness under the eye. So I'm not gonna let that sit long. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of dust it off. This is how you know my brushes need to be clean. Like this is supposed to be white. We're just gonna use my Sephora Micro Smooth pattern. 
and just everywhere so now that we've done that i'm gonna go back in and touch up my brows because i feel like the tail ends need to be defined just a little bit more so i'm gonna define it with my eye shape i sculpt that shade brow palette from Judy's place and then i'm gonna take my mark i'm gonna take my marker and define the front this one's a little bit longer i'm not gonna lie but it's okay they're a little dark but i like them that way now i'm gonna take the i sculpt that shade marker and just Make some brow hairs like that. Oh, and then I need to go in with my brow glue from NYX because I didn't do that yet. I also like to go in and diffuse this so it don't look too, too hard. And then you can always tidy up with your... So I'm gonna take my NYX brow glue. Okay, okay. She's looking good. Oh, I didn't put on my blush. I meant to put on liquid blush. Dang. I usually like to put on liquid blush before my powder just because i'm not an expert applier i'm gonna i'm gonna try and just put it on the back of my hand and put it on a brush this is the nyx super cheeks that i usually be using anyway it's just so pretty okay so not too shabby but i'm gonna go back in with the same brush that i blended the tinted moisture the skin tint out on this side and the tinted moisturizer out on this side just to make sure it blends. Now we look nice and zoosh. Now if you want to, you can like set it a little bit more with a powder. It's really not that necessary, but you can. If you want to intensify it just a tad, this is the Snackaroons by um, B Bakery. Boom, so that's cool. And then, like I said, I am gonna do a little, a little shadow on the brows, and I'm just gonna take between the orange and this brown shade in this Juvia's Place Warrior Two palette, and we're just gonna put this kind of all over the lid. This is the orange first. I'm gonna take some of this brown and focus this on my lid area. I wanna do under lash application, but I don't know if it'll be smarter to, to just do it regular. A lash it is. It still needs to dry some more before I, um, before I keep mashing it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other lash. While that gets tacky, I'm gonna put a little bit. Touch the mascara up under here. Cause y'all know when I have my lashes kind of thick, I like to make sure my lower lash don't look bald. Okay, stop playing with her. Okay. We gonna try to put these lashes on. Okay, so the lashes are finally secured. Last but not least, before we hit the road, we gotta do a lip combo. And I'm just gonna take this KKW Nude 2. She ain't need that dark. Nude three is where it's at if you want a dark, a nice brown. But this is what I had, so we'll do nude two. Nude two is like perfectly my lip color. And I'm actually gonna use, I can't find a color that I really, really like. So I'm gonna just use this color. And this is the Fruit Fetish Raspberry Peach Lip Oil from Milani. Ooh, that raspberry smell good. Raspberry Peach Lip Oil. It's the doe foot applicator for me. It's so moisturizing, y'all. It's really taking on the color of the lip liner. We gonna just throw on the, the Milk, uh, the NYX. This is Milky Lip Gloss. To add just a touch of color. So now we just need to set the face with some um satin spray and we're gonna set the face with satin spray i'm gonna cover my lashes this time so my mascara don't drip the nimmy one smells so good i will say I do leave a few splotches like the mist ain't too not look at my shirt jesus Anyway, so that is pretty much it for the get ready with me portion, just to give you guys like a look. Just to give you guys a look, this is the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint. This is the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. 
I think right now we look good on both sides. This one's giving skin. This one's giving skin with coverage. Like, they're both giving. So, I'm gonna take my little vlog camera so I can update you guys during the day. Right now it's 10.07. The shoot's at 11. Okay, so y'all vote which one y'all think look better in the comments. Let me know. This side is Fenty. This side is Rare Beauty. And we gonna check in throughout the day. Like I said, it's 10 .0, it's 10 .08, so. Y'all, I completely forgot to check in with y'all. It's 421, I just finished the shoot the grad shoot i have not touched up anything i've been sweating and everything so like this is the fenty eavesdrop skin tint still getting skin this is the um rare beauty i think my oily spots are like right up in here but i feel like they're about even on both sides what do y'all think What do y'all think? I feel like the discoloration on my forehead is because I had these shades on the top of my head like that. So that also kind of messes with it. Um, but outside of that, my chin, that's from lip gloss. But yeah, like, I don't think it look bad. We gonna, I'm about to go to Chipotle. I'm gonna give me a napkin and I'm gonna, and we gonna see how long it lasts. So right now, like I said, it's 422. Um, and last I saw y'all was at 10 a.m. So I think we look good. Ha! I don't know. Let me know what side y'all digging more. Y'all digging this side? Y'all digging this side? What side y'all digging? What side y'all digging? All right, y'all. It is literally almost 1 a.m. And I went to the Boston match. I've, like, literally been... I smell like outside right now because I've been outside all day. But this is what my face looks like. I didn't do any touch-up. Um, I did wear a mask for a portion of the day um but that's about it i'm gonna go in the bathroom and show y'all like what it looked like the grease Ooh, give me a second okay y'all so this is my face in the bathroom with no touch up whatsoever this side is the fenty eavesdrop this side is the rare beauty um tinted moisturizer I'm oily like here and here. <laughs> and so I'm just taking a piece of toilet paper, pressing on my face to like soak up them excess oils. Okay. And boom, like I still think my face look good. Like, What y'all think? I think it looked good for it to be 1 a.m. I put this on at 8. I finished doing my makeup at like 10 a.m. 10 something. I think I look good. Um, other than obviously like looking like she had her makeup on for too long. <laughs> Which side? Yeah, I think one. Like, I think they both still look good. I definitely, like, you can see that this side is definitely more of a sheer coverage. This side is giving a fuller coverage. So, in my opinion, they both win. It's, it's whatever you want. If you want a light, sheer coverage, or if you want a buildable medium, like, they both buildable, but... Like, it depends on the coverage you want. I think I look good still. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all so much. If I didn't close out the video already, y'all never forget at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself. And be you, Tipple. Bye, y'all.